overnight they put up the Scorpio specs. Let's look at this article. Well, this all this all makes this all makes perfect sense to, to to anyone. I don't know how anyone can understand this. The CPU in a Scorpio is an eight custom X86 cores clocked at 2.3 gigahertz, while an Xbox One only has eight custom Jaguar cores clocked at 1.75 gigahertz, and a PS4 Pro only has. Eight Jaguar cores clocked at 2.1 gigahertz. What does any of this mean? It's fine. We can see this. We'll just read. We'll read the next part. What's the next part? D GPU graphics, obviously. <laughs> the GPU in a Scorpio is 40 customized compute units at 1,172 megahertz. Duh. A normal Xbox only has. 12 GCN compute units at 853 MHz, Xbox One has 914 MHz, and the Pro has 36 improved GCN compute units at 911 MHz. WHAT IS IT IS MADE?! I need someone to translate this. Scorpio News. Otaku. Jason Schreier. Save me, Jason Schreier. Digital Foundry's hype is breathless, nor can the number of compute units and teraflops represent the passion Xbox team has injected into this project. But in short, the technical wizards say it's more powerful than any video game box we've seen, capable of running Forza Tech Demo at 60 frames per second and 4K resolution! Wait, that feels like it needs a... Just, re just pause, just pretend I'm reading that part again. 4K resolution! <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. Whereas the PS4 Pro was an iteration, Scorpio appears like a new console generation. The Scorpio, the truly compute Microsoft will need to ensure that it has a lineup of games impre as impressive as the PlayStation 4s. Microsoft has said that the Scorpio will be out this fall. There's no word on a price yet. Okay. It looked pretty. Graphics big. Good job. Many teraflops. Where the games? Trump just bombs or missile launched launched attack on Syria. That's interesting. I of course am not educated enough to really have or offer uh, a big opinion on this, but it's one of those times where you're like, I started the day talking about a fucking video game console and then uh, is that really this seems kinda of fucking stupid! What a long, horrible fucking day. If you're following my Twitter feed today, you'll know I've been spending most of it talking about how excited I am and sticking up for the Fast and Furious franchise. The Fate of the Furious, of course, comes out soon. Um, if you don't like Fast and Furious, you can go fuck yourself. I guess my problem is that I just don't feel like Twitter is the perfect place for me personally to express why it is that I love the Fast and Furious franchise. 140 characters each tweet is not going to do us justice. I need to I need to have a thing. I could turn today's video very easily. Fucking trust me, today's video could very easily have done a 180 turn and just been me talking for at least an hour. Maybe I cut it down to less for the sake of wanting people to watch it. Maybe. Talking about why I love the Fast and Furious franchise. I'm gonna stop replying to these fucks on Twitter. Now, if you wanna tweet at me about how much you hate Fast and Furious, or say that's bad, or anything like that, you can do you. I'm, I'm not gonna get into these arguments anymore on Twitter, guys. No more. I can't, it's not the medium. You do not have political discourse. You cannot discuss serious topics 
on Twitter, okay? I won't discuss Fast and Furious on Twitter anymore. Donald Trump should stop tweeting. Donald Trump should just stop fucking tweeting. <laughs> It's just fucked here without sunlight. Fucked. Get that shit. Package was package. <laughs> package was waiting anyway. Mm. Now, I warned you about this early in the fucking week. I don't want any lip. I want you. Cunt. <laughs> Dylan, didn't you just? <laughs> this is a steelbook copy of Star Wars Rogue. One. So there's actually more special features on this than the one I got the other day. There was a fucking reason to buy it. What? Remember, I don't want any lip about it. <laughs>